Hey guys, what's up? Ellen here. Gonna do a quick message. See what spirit wants to tell us tonight. Gonna call in the angels, spirit guides, ancestors. Ask that I be used to deliver messages to whoever's listening. Give all thanks and praise to the Most High God. Thank you so much for the opportunity to be able to speak and to breathe and to walk each day with hope and optimism and trust and faith in you. And I ask that anybody that's viewing right now who has any troubles or worries that they be comforted in this time and this sacred space that is being created right here and that they leave with peace and um peace and love in their heart thank you okay let's see what's going on you guys hope everybody had a good day that Monday didn't get you down too much. What do we need to know tonight? First card. This was the first card on the last video. Angel of Strength, number 50. So two readings in a row. That's really important, you guys. If you're feeling um, any sort of lack of strength right now or you you feel like you're being tested and your you know reserves of energy are feeling low or you just you know need some extra encouragement just take a second to look at that image and know that you can draw on that kind of strength if you don't feel like you can tap into it in yourself just take a second to look at that image Let's see what else. What do we need to know with this angel of strength spirit? The sun. <laughs> the sun and the angel of strength. Lovely. We got number 50 and number one so far. What, whoops. I'm not going to count that. What do we need to know about... Why is the angel of strength here with the sun? Why is the angel of strength here with the sun spirit? Let's see. The thinking woman, number 47, which is an 11. So we've got 5111 so far. So this thinking woman can be you, it can be somebody in your environment, somebody that is in your energy or that um, you're dealing with in some way right now. It could be a boss, it could be a coworker, a friend, neighbor. You put it where it fits. So a couple different scenarios just with these three cards. You could be, I think of the sun obviously as you know, the illuminator brings clarity, shines the light on, and it's right between the angel of strength and the thinking woman. So I feel like you, if this is you, and this could be, even if you're a man, you could be in the more internal feminine energy of trying to receive understanding, trying to receive messages, clarity, um, and this is showing that the sun is shining on this, you know, whatever this situation is that this is referring to and the angel of strength here. The other thing that could be happening is if you're dealing with a thinking woman and you're trying to understand a situation with this person, this is just telling you to stay strong to trust that whatever needs to be illuminated will be illuminated. 
So those are kind of the two scenarios right now that I'm getting. Can we clarify and get more details, Spirit, so the viewer will know if this is for them? Can we clarify? Ooh, my nose is itching. Can we clarify these first three cards, Spirit? We'll switch decks if we need to. Well, that was two that fell out. The door to Spirit, 32, and attachment number five. So it's actually five, five coming out, and we had a five at the beginning. So, these two energies to me are kind of opposite. So there could be some sort of attachment to whatever the situation is that is blocking the door to spirit. I'll let you look at both cards real quick. Um, let me see if I'm getting what I'm getting from this. Maybe, too, also, if this is just about you and not about, you know, somebody else in your life, it could be that you are thinking really hard <laughs> and trying to figure out what it is, what kind of attachment in your life, whether that's to a person, place, thing, idea, belief, etc. You get it. But you're trying to use, like, mental power, like, thinking about what the attachment is. And you could be being asked to instead open this door to spirit and let the answers be revealed to you about what the attachment is that needs to leave. And in that process, staying strong, trusting that it will be illuminated for you. Keep asking, keep praying, keep, you know, um, Keep searching if that's what if that's what you need to do but with the thinking woman it's kind of feeling like maybe there's too much emphasis on the thoughts or the mental and maybe needing to take a break from that and the dove to me always represents peace so I feel like spirit saying you're gonna find more peace right now in this moment just opening the door to us and letting you know letting us bring in this peace and when you're at peace you can think clearer anyway right we all know that and then whatever this attachment is can be revealed and released more easily it could also be that you've already you already know what this attachment is and you're just in your head of how to let it go how to take the first step you know, what it's going to mean in other areas of your life. There could just be a lot of thinking going on right now. I mean, these three cards are, you know, super light filled and positive. So I feel like you're moving in a positive direction. You might be feeling a little bit discouraged right now. And I feel like this reading's coming out to say like, you're on track just try to do whatever you can right now to not get stuck in thought loops and you know spinning spinning round and round and round in your head we'll see if there's anything else from here but then i want to get some clarification from the double deck okay is there anything else we need to know from here spirit <clears throat> Anything else we need to know from here? Y'all might hear Harry Potter in the background. My kids are, are watching it. The thinking man. <laughs> so, okay. This could involve someone else, obviously. This could be about a relationship. This could also be about, you know, 
uh, a father daughter a brother sister but it looks like there's a masculine and a feminine who are both in their head 46 and 47 so we've got lots of ones and fives on the board in fact we've got all ones and fives we've got one 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 five 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 how many ones was that so we've got 11 11 five 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 <laughs> I guess that'll need to go in the title. But here's these two. Okay, so yeah, this is really clear. I mean, there's just a lot of thinking between you, the viewer, and somebody else in your life that appears to be the opposite gender. And with the sun and the angel of strength and the door to spirit, some kind of attachment between these two energies on the board is being illuminated. Maybe both of you guys have an attachment. Maybe one of you does and the other one's feeling it. That part is not clear, but it, but some kind of attachment is on both people's minds and it just feels like I want to say spirits, <laughs> spirits here, spirits on it, and try not to get anxious, you know, ruminating thoughts, worries, just focus on yourself, your home, your family, your kids, your job, whatever it is you need to focus on to like put some, you know, space in the mind, <laughs> some free some bandwidth. Free up some, uh, what do you call it? I don't even know, with computer language. <laughs> what would it be? RAM or something? <laughs> Free up some RAM? Okay. Yeah, I'm not a, not a computer person. Okay, let's see. Let's get some, we'll get one or two from here, but I'm feeling like that was, that was pretty clear. And then I want to get a quick uh, Star Dragon. And bid y'all good night. It's getting late. I think it's 10. Oh, wow. It's, yeah, it's after 10 here. <laughs> okay. Is there any other clarification you would like to give the viewer spirit? Anything else? Please and thank you. Change your focus. It's another five. So that's the five of swords. So now we have one, we have 11, 11 and 55, 55. So that goes right along with the message. Just do whatever you need to do to change your focus. You know, like go do a crossword puzzle <laughs> or go do a, you know, a tinker with something that you've been wanting to fix in your house or Go switch around some artwork on the walls or, you know, do some laundry or something. Probably something with your hands, though, to keep your, you know, your mind focused on something else. So, Spirit, what, the message is pretty clear, but is there any advice other than change your focus? Is there any advice, anything else you want the viewer to know? That mind labyrinth is a bitch sometimes, right? Uh, what can we tell the viewer to help the most right now, spirit? I think we just need a star dragon. Let's see. For anybody who hasn't seen me use this deck, here's the author or the uh, creator. <clears throat> Which star dragon wants to give us some closing words of support and guidance? Which star dragon wants to make an appearance tonight? Please and thank you. We appreciate your wisdom and protection. 
in these crazy times. If one wants to come out, I may just have to cut it. See, what's really happening is they all want to come out, so they're all just like, no, I want to go. I want to go. <laughs> uh, all right, dragons. Which one of you guys wants to pop out? All right, we're going to cut it. Twenty four freedom breaking the chains. How perfect because this is the place we get the most uh caged right look at that that's beautiful hey 24 2 that's this year this year collective we are freeing ourselves from the chains that bind us to mental traps to thought loops to thought patterns repetitive you know situations and thoughts about those situations, beliefs. Okay, we got to read it from the book. That's really beautiful. It's like a dragon with a whale tail. Number 24. So each one is paired with a constellation and a dragon rider and a dragon. The constellation is Eridanus, which is the river Eridanus, and the star is Akarnar, which is the alpha star in that constellation. Wisdom of the Herald. Oh, my knee. Oh, shoot. Oh, sometimes my knee, my right knee, oh, it'll get a shooting pain. I have to stretch it out. Okay, sorry. Here we go. Wisdom of the Herald, be limitless, be unhinged, be free from every aspect of life that holds you back and tries to contain you. Break the chains. These are illusions. The time is now to move forward to greater heights as you claim the sovereignty over your own life. It's too hard for me to hold it. Okay, there you go. <laughs> All right. Let's see what the dragon, uh, what the next part is. True freedom is your right. It is your essence. True freedom means living unhinged, unencumbered, and flying free among the stars and clouds. Feel the mist on your face and take a deep breath as you soar to new heights and greater joy. You are free. Claim the truth of your freedom. Break the chains. Fly higher. Liberation is yours. Lovely. That's beautiful. Sorry, I just had to reflect on that for a second. Okay, one more view of that. And I will bid you farewell. I hope you got something from this message. And I love you guys so much. See you next time. Bye.